Welcome on IGY6 Games, the gamer channel that brings you a variety of entertainment and content. Bo here and here. And before we kick things off, we'd appreciate the love by y'all sharing and hitting those icons that need to click it. With that said, check out our social meds where we post daily and keep in touch with our followers. Now let go. Well, Raid's here. And there's five essential steps to getting to Titan. That's what this video is about, the process to get into Titan. Step one is enter the raid. That simple, but it is a step. And you'll see as we enter the raid entrance, you just drive on in with the boat. And I'll explain further when we get to that point. But for now, just a quick little heads up. The NPCs are 260 plus. Does not matter the gear scores of the squad. As you can see, our squad has a variety of scores. We got it all the way to the hard, well, close to the hard cap, all the way down to the 100s. Another thing, Sector 1, well, pretty much the whole raid, it's open world. You're free to explore, take your own route, do as you wish. But the bivvies, you will not be able to spawn vehicles. They are strictly there to go and gear up by the way that big 3d rectangle keep in mind with those it will come in handy in the step three or four of the process you'll be having to use that to deactivate and be able to get to titan itself and while we're running to get to entrance of the raid i want to bring up another thing this is not a race unless you want it to be but you can get really good loot here. You'll have gear loot drop as far as 10 plus, easy. Especially y'all younger, or yeah, y'all lower gear score levels. But clear out bases, all the NPCs, all the loot crates, all that drops very, very healthy. And now we've reached step one of getting to Titan, for sector one at least, and that's having all four of your squad mates at separate nodes and interacting with them and as you see there's your entrance play the raid and I'll be back to explain step two after the cutscene with Jericho I managed to hack into the surveillance system once you get through this tunnel it looks like there are some Titan experimental drones and an AI defense system Remember, you need to destroy those drones before you can reach the lava retaining wall. Here are the schematics for the wall. They'll show you exactly where to place the C4 charges. Once that wall is compromised, nothing will stop that lava. If you don't get out quick, you'll be cooked alive. Good luck. Getting cooked by lava sounds fun. <laughs> it's always encouraging. There we go, Forge, for shits and giggles. Now, every piece of gear is going to be there. Once you enter the raid, uh, it's on for step two, which you will get some intel from Jericho. And she's telling you to go to the satellite dish. And at the satellite dish, satellite. you're there to pick up intel. You'll grab multiple intels, which will lead you to your next clue. And I'll get to that once we reach that point. But I want to bring up another thing. NPCs, it doesn't matter if you have the settings set to detection clouds or not. All NPCs, no detection clouds. It's hardcore, just the way it should be. And again, I can't stress this enough. Feel free to explore, hit all these bases. Clear them out, get all the loot you can. This is a great way, especially for all y'all burnt out doing the elite factions and going and clearing bases that are higher level than you. There's gonna be two new icons that you may not be familiar with. That one that you just seen ahead, that looks like a mixer. Those are control panels. You'll need to know that in the future, keep that in mind. And of course the cube rectangles, those are nodes themselves. 
which you will interact with to deactivate something. Damn it. You got you deactivate something to get the Titan. You'll see ahead. And as we're finishing our recon, obviously you know the intel icon. You're going to want to get these breachers at the entrance to the west part of the base. And you're going to inter interrogate them, like always, throughout the whole goddamn game. Interrogate, go to a new location. Same thing here. But you'll see after following interrogation with this soldier, there will be a room just east right here actually northeast it just run straight ahead and that's where you'll interact with computer laptop whatever you want to call it and that gives you the next clue which leads you to step three now what this clue is telling you is that sarn salt has the password and he's at his fisherman's hut and this is pretty much directly west off the main island west of the satellite dish itself and as you can see it's right there beaconed on the map and it's off the island once you get there obviously interact with I need to stop saying fucking obvious interact with the intel and that gives you the password that you need to deactivate a node and that node will be located far north of Sector 1 at the oil rig. Don't worry about the password itself. It's not to be remembered. It's no mystery or anything. Just collect the intel that has the password. And you get to the rig. And you'll be able to deactivate the node that's on the rig. And there's only one specific node that it will work on. And I'll point that out when we get there as you can see though we're approaching the rig I want to point out a nice little clue not a clue a, a tip you see on these pipes how they curve and you know the damn player movement in this game if you aim down sight while walking you have a lot more control and right here as we approach <laughs> the oil rig it got it got kind of hairy but if you see where I'm at right here you're just south of the oil rig and you're on a platform beneath the pipes I literally sniped every single guy here when I got here and trust me it wasn't pretty I had a chopper to deal with first and some drones that got loose and as you see all it is is sniping because the NPC behavior in this game right now not too hot Once the oil rig is cleared, go ahead and get on it and it's time to take out all the control panels and you'll see them, they're the icons that look like a, you know, soundboard mixer. At least, I think that's what they look. Anyway, you know what they look like. There's a new damn icon in the game. Go to the furthest northeast node icon, that's the one that you put the password in. All the other ones. Our decoys and I believe it's for the future rotations of the raid they probably have different locations with each week and there is one control panel that's out of reach where you can't physically or manually deactivate so you're gonna have to shoot it out it's the furthest northeast one apologies forgot to mention that was step four step four was deactivating the node now to step five and it's as simple as entering the raid. It's just entering to fight Titan Alpha. And once you get to the oil refinery, it's that big blue circle. You need all four of your squad mates in. If you choose to, 
Go ahead and clear off the base. You don't need to. You don't need to. Let me stress this. You don't need to. Just enter the circle as a squad and you will activate Titan Alpha for Sector 1. One more little quick tip. Do not place mines beforehand. It doesn't matter when it when the spawn, the Titan spawns, it's gone. Q Titan Alpha. are gone and as we close out hope you got what you came for share with your mates click those buttons that need the clicking want to catch us in action check out the squad as we stream schedule down below in the description swing on by and say hello and as always i say peace Oh